Sorry to surprise you, but I thought I'd let myself in. Have you eaten? Good. I have some food ready. I know it's been a rough day. Lots of mandatory overtime and all that jazz. And if I know you, you were probably planning on just skipping dinner and going straight to sleep. So I thought I'd swing by and whip up a little something for my poor, tired, little, significant other. How did I know it was a rough day? <laughs> Just intuition. I know these things. Come on, let's eat. What do you mean, how did I get in here? I used my key. I don't have a key. Right. Oh, yeah. I don't have one, do I? Well, I guess it must have not been locked. Yeah, I know you're a little obsessive about locking the door. But, hey, we all miss stuff sometimes. Don't worry about it. Honestly, I think it's kind of cute when you suddenly try and remember if you lock the door while we're out. I'm like a scared little chipmunk. So, yeah, it wasn't locked, and I just let myself in. Don't call me suspicious. You're suspicious. I can't enter locked doors, so it must have not been locked. What do you mean I can do weird stuff like that? I'm a perfectly normal person with absolutely no eldritch powers. You think I might be a what? A witch? Well, the proper legal term is sorceress. I mean, what? Me? A witch? That's silly. You're silly. You're so funny. The season must be getting to you. Too many scary movies. <laughs> okay, yeah, I do tend to pop up at random when you aren't expecting me, but that's just a coincidence. We work close to each other and live in the same neighborhood. It's bound to happen. I'm not, like, magically watching you and teleporting to your location or anything. Yeah, I have a black cat, but, like, who doesn't? Black cats are cute. Plus, Alsper Meowly has a gray splotch on his left paw, so he's not even a fully black cat. That's not a cauldron, it's a Dutch oven. Yeah, I trained the crows in the neighborhood to do things for me. It's surprisingly easy. I followed a wikiHow walkthrough. I talk to them? Of course I do. You know me, I love animals. Okay, yeah, so I have toads as pets. So what? Toads are cute. They're like big, grumpy-looking, chubby froggos. Plus, I love building terrarium terrain. Okay, fair. I can see that the fact that I named them all after my exes might seem kind of spooky, but that's just how I move on. Let me cope! What? No way! I don't turn my exes into toads. What a silly idea. You're such a goof. I mean, come on. You've even met Jesse. Don't you remember? At the, uh, the park? They waved. What are you, the witch finder general? Jesse moved to Toledo last year. Did I say Spain last time? Toledo, Spain, yeah. That's it? You know what? How about you call them? Yeah, that'll put this to rest. Though, uh, let's use the wall phone. The number you're trying to reach has been disconnected. <laughs> 
Uh, well, I guess they must have changed numbers. Yep. What a Jesse move. Always switching towns and changing phone numbers. That was kind of their thing. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, look. I think you're looking at this all wrong. If I was a witch, which I'm totes not, I would tell you. Unless I had a good reason not to. And don't you trust me to make that kind of decision? And if I was in fact a witch, you'd be better off listening to me when I told you not to worry about it. If I have all this magical power, I could be a dangerous person to you. I mean, you might wake up one day to find I put your soul in a jar or trapped you in a mirror. Who knows what some kind of evil witch might do to somebody that asked too many questions. If I'm a witch, you're really playing with fire right now. Maybe you want to find out where Jesse went. Whoa, hey, relax there, Pumpkin. That wasn't a threat. Just conjecture. Like I said, I'm just a regular old not-witch person. On the other hand, if your silly little idea was true, it might be good to... Oh, what do they say? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth? Yeah, I could be good to have around if I was a witch. I mean, who doesn't need a little magic now and again? If I was in the background helping you out a little bit, you might have it made. I mean, who knows? Worth thinking about. Just because I'd want to keep it secret doesn't mean I'd be above a little magical meddling. You might come into work next week and find out that you have a new, much nicer boss. Your old one, nowhere to be found. I mean, if I was a witch, I'd be rather hard on people who were always trying to take away time you should be spending with me. And I'd have lots of ways to get rid of them. Lots of ways to keep you an inhabitant of my own little magical world. Maybe one day, I'd just snatch you right up and keep you forever. Again, not admitting to anything. <sighs> Look, if I give you a smooch, will you promise to drop all this nonsense? I promise it'll be a really good one. Come here, cutie. Now, if I was a witch, that kiss would have placed a spell upon you. The kind of spell that would make you lose your voice when you started to ask silly stuff like that. But, since I'm not a witch, I obviously didn't. So do you have anything else you want to ask? Any other little suspicions nibbling away at that cute little mind of yours? No? Well, isn't that funny? I guess we're good then. We'll continue this conversation, never. Now, come on. Dinner's getting cold. Look how cute I made the table. I brought a tablecloth and candles and all kinds of good stuff. Let's celebrate getting through a rough day. Hmm. The candles went out. <laughs> Nah, I don't need a match. <laughs>